Okay, now welcome back to uh, where we have left. We are we are now done with the urban water use. Uh, let us now look at what is industrial water use. So, uh, like I said, uh, by the name itself, it suggests that industrial water use are the water that's being uh, used specifically for industrial purposes, not for domestic and not for like agriculture and all, but specifically for industries like the best example in our country is like hydropower sector. So water that's being used for the generation of electricity is also a what industrial water. Um, uh, like I, like uh, other examples can be water that's being used for uh, making paper in pulp and uh, meals industry that's also uh, water, uh, industrial water. So let us now uh, look into a little bit deep to uh, what is industrial water use. So around the globe, um, uh, what we can, uh, let me choose kind of here, around the globe what we can see is that um, about 7 to 8 percent is being used for domestic water use which we have seen in the domestic water use lecture. But around 22 percent is being used for the uh, industrial purposes. So best example can be like uh, paper factory, um, uh, in uh, in a few slides, you will after a few slides, you will see that um, water is also being used to produce steel. So uh, pro uh, production like steel. So uh, production of steel and its associated uh, companies uh, use indust uh, industrial water um, uh, power generation, specifically through hydropower uh, projects. It's also based on industry water use. So around 22% is uh, being used by uh, industries around the globe. And the high, higher the developmental activity in that country or uh, the developed the nation is, higher amount of industrial water is being used because they are all based on mechanization. They want to produce more products. They want to produce more technologies, which actually requires lots of water. So let's say uh, a simplest example. So in developed countries, you'll see more computers, more uh, technological equipment that's being run by a chip. So a computer chip, you must have seen through, uh, through some uh, IT related things like IT related things that uh, you have got chips. Even in m mobile phones, if you just look closely, you have got chips which are basically semiconductor. So a particular chip which is semiconductor known as a wafer, W-A-F-E-R wafer, just a single wafer of single this size small chip requires around 2000 gallons of water to produce. That means 2000 is nearly equal to, uh, to one gallon of water is nearly equal to four liters of water or four bottles of water I see. So to produce this small chip, you really need a good amount of water that's around 8,000 liters of water. 2,000 uh, 2, gallons of water is equal to 8,000 gallons of water. It's because those chip require again very ultra pure water to wash away all the micro contents, all the dust particles, all the dirt that is in the chip so that that semiconductor is very pure in its form. So that kind of um, industries are there in developed nations and uh, lots of other technologies like uh, oil refinery which are really into oil making companies and which really uh, need lots of water and because of that more amount of water is being wasted not waste but is being used in industrial purposes but however in terms of uh, the developing or underdeveloped countries more is gone to agriculture purposes and around 10 is given to the industrial purposes because we do not have much industries that is based on water. Um, like I said, what is water footprint is the amount of water that's being used by an individual, uh, individual commodity or product or anything. It can be also an individual, it can be also in communities, it can also be a nation but the water that's being used by that thing. Industrial product, every industrial product, the phone that I'm carrying right now, 
consumes water to produce because it has to be washed it has to be cooled down it has to be um, uh, treated through water in order to uh, clean all its uh, particles dust particles all dirt and all it has to be very clean so to do that it really needs uh, water so water footprint of uh, anything will be associated with the product itself so nearly um, every manufactured good requires uh, water to at least in some phases of the production so if let's see an example of a uh, uh, car so we are going to manufacture a car and when we have to manufacture a car firstly we, we have to manufacture engine so engine has to be made, made with steel so pr to produce a steel it said that before 1945 and all before world war ii basically before World War II, in order to produce just one ton of steel, around 60 to 100 tons of water was required. 60 to 100 tons of water. That's around like uh, 60 or 100 times more than the one ton of uh, one ton of steel. But after um, uh, the World War II, it say that. Uh, because of the technology and because of the modernization, um, the one ton of steel now requires around six tons of water. So, at any point of time, water is being required. So, to produce the engine, now we need steel. Steel is being produced, uh, produced with the help of again water. Now we need to produce a car body that has to be washed, that has to be painted again, washed again. Lots of process goes through the use of water and that's very important to know that no phase is out of water. So at one phase or another phase, water is required and associated water footprint is there with any product. So water will be, like I said, in every phase it's being required. So even during the extraction of raw materials, water is being required. So for example, extraction of gold, water is being required, extraction of some kind of like uh, stones, good stones like gypsum to to make uh, to make uh, cement requires uh, water uh, to process the intermediate product requires water to manufacture and transportation requires water. So it's basically required in at 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 least one of the stages to produce that uh, to produce that product. So water management associated with the industrial water use is basically how can an industry really cope up with the increasing scarce of water how that uh, how that uh, uh, how can uh, improve or how we can decrease the loss of water how we can increase the efficiency how we can conserve how we can reuse and how we can, we can treat it's all about water management uh, activity that's being related to um, industrial water use. Some of the examples where industrial water use is seen most commonly is fabricating industries like you have got uh, uh, like fabricated uh, materials, you have got some processing uh, industries like food processing industries, um, drinks processing industries where you really need water, washing industries, diluting, cooling. So cooling is very important because uh, uh, in order to produce anything, for example, uh, in order to just produce a car, what happens is that um, uh, just to produce a, just to produce a small amount of metal, you need um, just to produce, let's say, just to produce a just to produce a small amount of, uh, let's say, just to produce this bottle, which is made of metal, and this metal is very smooth. But when we started to, when we started to make this uh, bottle, the metal will be in crude stage. So that has to be beaten, that has to be made into this shape. But whenever you heat it up, you need to cool it down. So just have to cool down with water. 
So because water has got high specific heat capacity, it can uh, take away the heat easily. And uh, uh, the most example of uh, water cooling where uh, industrial water is being really wasted is in uh, huge industries like power generation. So the turbines are uh, continuously uh, rotating, continuously moving where it's getting heated up in the uh, machine itself. And that turbines, th those machines have to be cooled down. So every time and water is used continuously to cool down the machines like the hydropower turbines and all. So in order to do that, you need huge amount of water and huge amount of water is being wasted. I'll just give you, I'll just get back to this slide again. Uh, any industry like having an operating machine, let's say, uh, let's say a hydropower, uh, hydropower uh, turbine where you need a turbine to produce or generate electricity. If you use without water to cool down the overheated uh, machines, for example, in Belgium, they just require 210 and that's only around like three percent of the total water use but if you are using water to cool down because you have to use water to cool down so it's using around 5149 can you see the difference it was just 210 now it has reached 5149 um look at the countries like famous countries like germany here so without water to cool down the operating system or without the water to cool down the machines and all they just need 6,475 because industries are never out of machines. Machines have to be there in order for industries to run. If if you have looked, if you have watched over the Dis Discovery Channel, um, Natu and all, where you have got big food processing, um, in uh, food processing industries where food is just uh, just you just have to provide the raw materials like maize and all and automatically the machines they convert into the slurry of maize then they convert into some kind of like toast of maize then they pack the the whole uh, toast of the maize and they just have to sell those kinds of all industries are being uh, uh, pushed by machines and these machines have to be cooled down at a certain period of time and if you're not using water to cool down the machines it's just consuming around 6475 but in germany if you are using the coolant not if but you have to use the coolant so it's consuming around 16952 uh, amount of uh, that uh, unit amount of water but i just wanted to show that the amount of water that's being used as a cooling agent is really high so uh, in the world itself in some of the developed countries in total 25,411 is being used by machines just without cool, without water as cooling agent. But if you are using water as cooling agent, then it's like around uh, 100,000, 111,612 um, this unit of water. So the cooling purpose really takes up the water. Other um, uh, areas where we use water is petroleum refineries. In order to uh, refine petrol, you in order to refine some uh, gasoline or some petroleum petroleum products like petrol, diesel, kerosene, and all, you really need a good amount of water to do the distillation process. To uh, to add some amount of water in order for not to make that so concentrated. So that's something that really needs a huge amount of water because these are not some small factories that. Just produce like one to two liters of kerosene or one to two liters of petroleum products but these are industries which are producing around uh, thousands and thousands liters or thousands and thousands of gallons of uh, petroleum products in a year or even per day so lots of water is being used it's say that um, to just produce around uh, one liter of just to produce around like one liter of let's say a petrol that we use in uh, car around uh, uh, 0.5 liters is being used to produce uh, one liter of petrol so just imagine daily there are so many vehicles coming up with new designs people are buying lots of vehicle when you're buying lots of vehicle 
what we are doing is we are basically uh, using petroleum products. And when we're using lots of petroleum product, products, just imagine one liter of petroleum is consuming around 0.5 liters of water. And that's a huge amount of water if you just look at the global scale. So um, petroleum products, refinery industry really take a good amount of water. Uh, industries producing chemical products, food and paper, you already know that to make uh, some kind of traditional paper deshu in our uh, local dialect. To produce deshu, you must have gone or like you must have seen during your earlier classes that we really need water to uh, do all the steps and all. So you really need a good amount of water. And power generation in our country is something that we have already seen that lots of water is being used to generate power. Um, uh, I'll just discuss four major areas where um, water is being used around the group, where water is being heavily used in the group. One is the use of ultra pure water to use in semiconductor manufacturing. Uh, so semiconductor manufacturing, not any kind of semi, uh, semiconductor manufacturing, but a semiconductor that's being used as a microchip in phones, in laptops. Inside the laptops, you'll basically see a microchip, which is very uh, complicated. So in order to produce a very, like I said, in order, in order to just produce a microchip of this size, you need around 2,000 gallons of water or you need around 8,000 liters of water just to produce this one. And that water is not a normal water. That water is, again, very pure. Not very pure, but ultra pure. So you need an ultra pure water to wash that semiconductor again and again so that no particles, no dust, no germs, no bacteria, nothing else is being attached there. So in these kind of industries, these kind of industries are particularly seen in developed nations. And these are not one to two industries, but these are so many numbers of industries you see samsung is one industry which uses ultra pure water to produce their own semiconductor you see apple uh, all different kinds of phone products all different kinds of laptop products like lenovo dell microsoft apple products they are all using uh, uh, ultra pure water to have the semiconductor uh, manufactured uh, we use cooling water Basically, what you use to cool the machines and cool the operating system, huge operating systems like uh, the turbines in hydro power systems, uh, machines in uh, lots of uh, big industries. So you need to cool them down. If you do not cool them, they will just melt out of huge heat. They will just not function well out of huge heat. So you need to basically cool them down in order for them to work properly. So lots of water is being used in the cooling. Uh, Another is like water we use for oil and gas markets. I have just explained you how we use water in petroleum products. And uh, at last, I've talked something on uh, water use in pulp and paper mills where um, water is a pivotal asset to produce papers uh, in these uh, industries. 